Good day everyone, please don't mind the background footage, it's just there for your entertainment. But let us discuss this very terrible concept that you see, um, not just in the comment section of my videos, but like in Fury Crafting Circles. And that is that certain heroes lead to a DPS loss, and why on earth would you ever choose them over your beloved Kazuha, Zhongli, Bennett, you know, that can just snapshot and stack all these buffs and just carry your like main DPS, etc., and Shogun or whoever, uh, to doing the most damage possible. And if, and if you dare think that you can swap off to, let's say, a character like Kokomi or replace any one of these valuable team members, you're going to get such a massive DPS loss. And that, in fact, we will get the entirety of Kaching mains to prove it mathematically to you. And, I mean, this is like the sentiments like we are stuck with these days, is that if a character cannot provide raw damage, then they are pretty much trash. And let us just take a step back and contextualize the game of Genshin Impact and why this is like the worst way to think about the game. So, the hardest content in the game, the Spiral Abyss. Um, there is the clearing condition for the Spiral Abyss is that on every single chamber, you've got two halves and you need to collectively clear it within three minutes to get like your three stars and then of course overall the nine stars for all three chambers but in that clearing condition nothing was ever said about how you should do it so if you take 10 seconds on one floor and two minutes and 49 seconds on the next floor you still get the clear it's all just up to you how you want to distribute your power um, so i think when people people are often very disingenuous uh, when they sort of refer to different characters because depending on context you can get like a variety of answers so if you are someone that says look I can only have a five star at C0 and I can only have four star characters with at most constellation four um, all of it must be level 80 four star weapons then uh, you can do it you can impose that clearing condition on yourself but to call it the free to play clearing condition is just absolute rubbish i can't believe people um try to get away with it and i think what's even more so is that people impose these silly conditions and then say well if i swap out my precious bennett for kokomi i'm going to get a huge dps loss i think in fact it's the fact that people don't contextualize these things properly that they give us like such rubbish arguments because if you look at the game of genshin impact I can envisage a multiple number of clearing scenarios in which a character can be absolutely useless. So if my goal was to clear floor 12, chamber 3, first half in 12 seconds, then the majority of the uh, roster is literally useless. Um, it's only going to be like a handful of characters and only then at C6 or 5 uh, with well-built artifacts. But if you've got like a general clearing condition and you want to challenge yourself, then do so. Uh, but I think it is so disingenuous for people to say that one character is going to lead to a DPS loss, uh, quote unquote, uh, without like examining the full utility of the character. So obviously, of course, with the topical character at the moment, Kokomi, um, that is like a very strong sentiment. But if you consider just substituting out, let's say, one of your characters with the Electro Traveler, um, with Lisa, with Amber, you're also going to get a DPS loss. In fact, it's not about a DPS loss, but, uh, but it's all about the utility of the characters that you're going to use to satisfy your clearing conditions. And in that sense, certain characters might not be as viable as other characters. So let's see, can Kokomi, like what you can see on screen, uh, still clear this floor within 20 seconds? There's no Bennett, there's no Kazuha, there's no beloved Zhongli, no Ganyu, no Hu Tao, no Child, no Vape, no nothing, no Melt Reaction just electro charge and freeze and yes the answer is yes we can and here's the biggest and cruelest irony of all of this the kokomi you see on screen is obviously a c6 r5 but if you just replaced my kokomi with a level one no artifacts <laughs> no talents just bare bones c0 kokomi you'll get the exact same results and that is the power of the utility of a character isn't that crazy? You need to build your Kazuha with Elemental Mastery. You need to build your Bennett properly. You need to build your Shingshu. You need to build all these characters. And yet, in a very simple like clearing condition, such as clear this floor under 20 seconds, I can envisage a scenario where one character literally needs zero investment. And I can put the investment on my other three characters. 
In fact, I'm not even using the meta Bennett. I'm using, using Kujo Sara, which is then often touted as being worse than Bennett. So there, there you go, guys. It's very clear that um, depending on the circumstances, you can't just always have the enemies neatly line up. And then you just stack all your buffs and then boom, swipe right with Raiden Shogun or pop the Eula Superconduct. You've got to very carefully contextualize the game and understand exactly when certain characters are going to be good and when they're, they're not going to be. It's the same with Kokomi. She's surprisingly good because she's such a strong generalist. But if you are someone that's sort of looking, let's say you've got like a relatively underpowered, let's say, free-to-play account, it might be worth your while perhaps to invest in like damage dealing or like artifacts or just to get your account's power level up. But I mean, once you've crossed a certain threshold, the argument of DPS loss versus the convenience or the ease at which you can clear things really becomes like, it really becomes irrelevant in a certain sense. And much in the same way, if I had to say, take a character, let's say Bennett versus Kokomi, put them in front of Asdaha, who can survive the longest? I mean, it's, it's going to be obviously Kokomi. So you can, depending on your clearing condition, you can, the solution that you can get in terms of the hero that you should pick uh, can vary quite a lot. And this obviously then depends like from account to account. So my only advice is, is that if you guys see any upcoming characters like Ito Hirotaki and people might go mad, they might say, you know, Geo Resonance is bad, etc., etc. Just don't listen to them. P please like try and understand where characters are useful. Try to contextualize what circumstances they might be useful in, whether those circumstances like apply to your account. And if they don't, then there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with saying, a character X doesn't work or doesn't work. It's all about properly contextualizing these things and then getting the maps to support it. Cheers.